Right, hello ladies and gents, just a quick bite-sized piece of news. Pretty massive, actually. Uh, it seems that Marvel has decided to push their entire Phase 4 slate uh, back. Quite, quite largely back. Uh, but not only that is uh, Indiana Jones 5 has been delayed. Nothing huge with Indiana Jones 5, but let's just run through it all, discuss it, and kind of see what's happening here. Um, a lot of people in the argument will be, well, it's due to do with the pandemic and things like that. That's quite unlikely. I think it'll actually be due to do with Disney and their potential uh, looking forward with Disney Plus and things like that, uh, because we know that they were... Uh, due to be quite reliant on moving these movies over to uh, Disney Plus and the day and date release and things like that, and they've now decided not to do that. Uh, the argument about the pandemic just doesn't fly anymore because so many movies have been released where they've made good money. So it's not to do with that. Uh, if it is anything to do with movies and making money, it will be to do with Marvel thinking that they need to retool their products or change the marketing approach because their movies actually haven't done that well by comparison to other films. Uh, maybe budgetary constraints or anything along those lines, we'll have to wait and see. But here we go. So the whole slate is now kicking off later. So Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness has moved from March 25th, 2022 to May 2nd, 2022. So uh, May 6th, sorry, 2022. So, you know, reasonable pushback. Uh, Thor Love and Thunder has slipped down. Uh, so it's moved even further. So it's gone... Uh, well, instead of releasing on May 6th, so Doctor Strange took that spot, it's now going to be releasing uh, in July. Now, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever is no longer releasing in summer, which is unusual, because uh, you'd think that they'd want that as a big summer blockbuster, which is very, very odd that they're doing this, I'm not going to lie. Uh, they've moved it from July 29th to November 11th, 2022. Now, um, we don't know anything about uh, sort of Captain Marvel and things like that. However, the Marvels uh, has gone from November 11th, so again, the slate which uh, Black Panther has taken, and is now moving to February 17th, 2023. So quite a massive change. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp slightly affected, I guess. So it was going to be releasing on February 17th, 2023, uh, and now it's going to be released July 28th, 2023. Uh, but Disney has also pulled completely from their slate to untitled Marvel titles. Uh, that's not happening at all. And they were due to be heading uh, and releasing on July 28th and October. Um, but one of them now has moved from the October to the November slot in 2023. So a bit of an odd shuffle, really, for Marvel. It does seem quite unusual. They never really do this, so I would say that there's some internal politics at play. Now, uh, Indiana Jones 5. That has moved from July 29th to uh, June 30th. I mean, that's basically a year's delay. Quite big. Quite a big delay, actually. Um, now, that will largely be to do with Harrison Ford being injured on set, it seems. Uh, they weren't massively into filming, and then Harrison Ford got injured, so look, it is what it is. But it is fascinating to see uh, that's quite a large change and a shift up for Marvel. Very unusual for them, as I said before. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. If you want to support the channel further, we've got Patreon and memberships in the description box. And if you want to see my second channel, you can find that in the description box as well. But thank you so much. Take care.